I would say it's very important. <laughs> <laughs> what exactly does the internet allow you guys to do? Because I notice, in compared to other bands, you're always updating your website, which is really frustrating. Yeah, we try and keep it fresh all the time. You know, just um, I suppose putting you know, almost like tour diary stuff, lots of pictures, lots of news about what we're doing. This is quite a new website as well, the one that we've just uh, put up. You know, it, it just came out with this this last album, The Resistance. So it's amazing that we won it because we put a lot of time and effort into it. But um, yeah, you know, it's there. It's the source yeah. for Inter's everything really news, good. isn't it? Inter's really Inter's good. wicked, isn't it? Yeah, it's a good thing. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it used to be uh, bands would only get known through sort of uh, official channels, you know, uh, like media groups and stuff. And uh, but now the internet sort of makes it a bit wild, you know. Any anyone can suddenly get through out of nowhere, you know, YouTube hits and all that kind of stuff, you know. So. It's really put the power in the <coughs> listeners' hands as well. It's really exactly, good for yeah. that. Yeah. We didn't even have a website for our first album. Well, That's now crazy. you do, and it's fantastic. <laughs> Thank you for making it easier to get prep about you guys all the time. It's easy. Now you were saying the new album. Resistance. I was reading that when it was coming out, you guys were doing a lot of reading about stuff like end of the world scenarios. <laughs> so, was writing an album like this was it kind of like was it like therapy for you? Uh, cheap therapy. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Well, what exactly kind of uh, end of the world scenarios were you guys reading about? Uh, I wasn't actually reading about any, to be honest. Um, not so much. I read a book called 1984. Yeah, uh, dystopian is, uh, futures yeah, and that yeah, stuff. That, that, I read that book when I was younger though, but I read it again and I was kind of taken by the. The love story in the book, you know, this idea of like sort of love developing in the middle of this uh, dystopian nightmare. Uh, I, I kind of like that as a theme, and it's a bit of a theme on the album. Yeah, it's like Soylent and Green almost. <laughs> now I it's have like Zachariah. Z yeah, I have a listener who's a high school teacher, and she actually uses your album when she's teaching her students about the book 1984. Well. And um, she had all of her students get together and write questions. And I promised her that I would take the winning question and ask you guys, is that cool? Yeah, no worries. Yeah. All right, so this is from one of her students. The concept of the United States of Eurasia is a fascinating one. Is USE a symbol for aligned superpowers of the world? George Orwell once stated, if you want a vision of the future, imagine a boot stomping on a human face forever. <laughs> In your opinion, who or what is that boot? Uh, it's definitely not the United States of Eurasia. It might be the United States or something else, but I'm not here to say. <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you very much for that, dude. Uh, what do you guys go through when you're trying to pick out what songs you're going to be playing when you're actually taking the stage? Uh, what's that? Uh, what, how do we choose the songs? Yeah. Uh, we, we, uh, we just kind of play the ones that people seem to like the most. <laughs> so it doesn't. It, so it's not about like whether you guys can put on a really cool stage performance. Oh, oh no, 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 it's definitely with this. The concert we're doing at the moment was um, based around a. We started off with the idea of this kind of big building. Uh, I mean, the original concept was that we we're going to be trapped inside this kind of building, like a prison-type structure, and then that we throughout the concert we gradually kind of escape from it, and, and it sort of be like a kind of release of tension or something. But uh, we ended up having to cut it down to these kind of three smaller kind of moving blocks that look a bit like buildings, but it's kind of a cheaper version of the. Original cop was not wasn't that cheap, <laughs> but it's like a cheaper version of the original concept. But it was uh, yeah, but basically yeah, the, the set has, has got uh, this particular concert we're doing tonight does have a certain kind of narrative to it, you know, in, so that certain songs appear at certain points every night. Yeah. So when you guys are going to shows, do you really look for that big, huge stage presence yourselves, and did that kind of influence what you chose to do? I think so. Yeah. I mean, when I if I see a band, I like to see them enjoying themselves, looking like they're having a good time, and. Uh, and I suppose the reason why we started doing like big kind of visual shows, you know, with video and stuff like that, is because I suppose the venues started getting quite a bit bigger, certainly over here, but also back home. And we were very worried that the people at the back wouldn't be able to see anything. So we wanted to try and make, you know, somehow make the venue seem smaller by putting in lots of kind of other things, like visual stuff and video elements, other than just, you know, us being on stage. So I wanted to try and make the people at the back feel like they're down the front. But I suppose we just, uh, yeah, we just maybe felt a bit self-conscious, so we put more production in. <laughs> so where do you go from here? Uh, just give up. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm checking. Uh, where do we go from here? I don't know, really. It'd be, it'd be nice if we play football stadiums in America. We, we've started playing like these kind of very, very large outdoor concerts in Europe, uh, like football stadium type things. And uh, But where, where do you go from there once you get to that point? I suppose you... you you could do something. We talked about doing something more theatrical, where you sort of do multi nights in a kind of more Vegas. Uh, that's where like, we go. Yeah, like we're basically <laughs> doing a Vegas show. Basically. Stay away yeah. from tigers, by the way. <laughs> yeah, like set up somewhere where you can put in like because when you when you do like multi nights, like ten, twenty nights in like a theatre, you can do really interesting theatrical things, you know. So maybe something like that would be interesting. Yeah. Awesome, man. Well, thank you very much for stopping by. I know you guys are very busy. You got to go get some sneakers, and that's very important. Art support. <laughs> Remember that, uh, ladies and gentlemen, everybody, make some noise for Muse. Great. Thank you.